Oh, hey, didn't know uh, you were there. It's uh, December now. Any uh, hopes of summertime are uh, pretty much uh, dashed on the rocks there. Snow is on the way, but um, I'm thinking, uh, you know, for the future. And I really, really want to put together a beach go kit. Looking for something that I can make portable, small, and be able to set up and play sideband and FTA at the beach while my wife and kids play in the water. So with that, I'm just gonna continue here, uh, soaking up what's left of uh, the vitamin D. I'm gonna have you put a pin in that and we'll see what I've got in store for the future. Ugh. I'm gonna flip over now. Mm. All right, so which my beach setup, I've got a couple of things as my primary goal for setting up a beach go kit. It's gotta be portable. It's gotta be lightweight. It has to be very quick to set up and it has to be somewhat stealthy because more than likely I'm gonna be surrounded by a bunch of other people and don't wanna be setting up a very large uh, antenna. And with that, it also has to have capabilities to be able to do sideband with a headset, possible CW for me, uh, and definitely some FT8. So this is what I've compiled. I start out with my eight quart 511 bag. This is a wonderful uh, wide bag, many options, plenty of space, allows me for a lot of growth. I did as a way to be able to make things easier, stitch on loops. So when I put my carbon six mast on here, I can affix it with Velcro and make it, um, you know, all kind of one kit. So all I have to do is literally just grab it by the handles and we're off to the, you know, the beach and, and ready to go. The 511 bag has a major grouping of compartments. As you can tell, there's plenty of uh, space with uh, nylon Ziploc pockets um, for everything. And I can store um, pretty much any size battery that I want up to about 15 amp hours in the bag itself. So 511 eight quart bag, really good bag, uh, really good quality. Obviously carbon six mast, this is the way to go for portability. A lot of soda operators love it. From a beach standpoint, it's going to be a great fit, blend in really well with the umbrella and the configuration uh, to be stealthy. Uh, in its setup. Um, I am looking to obviously expand on this. So I'm looking to probably find a um, stake mount uh, for the beach to be able to mount this because more than likely mounting to an umbrella or some other uh, fixture is gonna be a little tough. Not um, totally uh, past the realm of uh, you know fixing it to my chair or whatever. Um, so looking for a 3D printed stake, hopefully in the future as I grow this kit. 316 RG8 with uh, chokes added in line with BNCs on both ends, tied with bongo ties, about 50 feet, great lightweight uh, wire for the wattage and for what I'm doing, I am not looking for 100% loss, but this cable is definitely a good cable. Um, with that, obviously tied into a um, four and a half hour amp bio NO pack with power poles, then tied into my FX4CR, great rig, does uh, a lot of things and I'll have a future review that'll go over um, all of the features and functionality that I will probably be using most often with this rig, um, with the plan to, you know, just give you a better idea of, you know, the capabilities of a 20 watt, um, you know, low power rig. A uh, Android phone with uh, FX or FT8 uh, CN. Um, so we'll be doing a, a test today uh, for FT8 because the band conditions aren't great. Um, and there's been a couple of solar uh, storms as I'm recording this uh, December 2nd. So um, we'll see what we can do both on sideband and on um, FT8 today. And then I am tying that all into an ultra light antenna uh, from Reliance Antenna called the Bugout uh, NFED Half Wave. Does uh, 40 through 10. Um, and uh, it's with the green uh, kite winders or antenna winders and uh, the poly stealth. That's roughly the setup I have here. We're gonna run through uh, getting it all on the air. But my goal with the whole beach setup is really 
again, portability, as much stealthiness as I can make it, so the wife uh, factor uh, is extremely low. And being able to get it up and set up quickly and on the air to play radio while I'm at the beach. So let's get to it. Okay, so we've got the antenna all hooked up. Battery's all good at this point. I'm gonna hook it up to the analyzer here and figure out what we're gonna get. And of course, obviously with everything in ham radio and the world in general, it's all about the connectors here. So got my trusty BNC to female, to male, to SO239, to connect to the, rate, you know, the analyzer here. And we'll see what we get. Here we go, connecting. I'm gonna try to operate just, you know, on 20 today and see what we get. So 40, we are at 1.82. Uh, we'll say at 20 meters, we're 1.27. 15, we're 1.48. 12 meters, we're oh, a little shy of three. 11, we don't really care. 10 meters, we're 1.7 in the, roughly the middle of the band. So uh, let's go back to 20 real quick here and see where we're kind of tuned for. Roughly at the bottom of the band, which is fine for FT8 in this case, but if I wanted to slide it up, uh, I'd uh, have to make some adjustments to be able to get it uh, right in the middle uh, of uh, the sideband portion. But I mean, that's the breakout of the graph in general for 20 meters. So we are a little short, but uh, you know, we'll do pretty good here. So um, let me uh, get things hooked up here and give it a shot. We've got uh, the Skywarn net happening right here. Getting pretty good signals, but what we're going to try to do today is we are going to try to do uh, FT8 here. So let's prop that up here. Put that up here. All right. Well, I'm trying to decipher this a little bit here. Obviously, I've got the FX4CR in digital mode, and I have it talking via Bluetooth, and I'm seeing stuff on the waterfall for the FX4CR. However, I am doing zero decodes from the phone itself here. My challenge with this software itself is that it's um, written out of China or the developer is from China. So a lot of their documentation and whatnot is written in Chinese uh, or Japanese, not quite sure either way. You have to forgive me as I kind of go through this video. It's really just intended to show you what type of setup you can have here. And I'm hoping as I dive into more of this, I can have this actually working and able to transmit via digital. But just to kind of show you really quickly, if I take it out of... Uh, digital mode here and if I just scoot up the band to go to say the voice portion real quick at Noah's Ark Hotel on our way back or way out I don't remember definitely getting signals showing stuff on the waterfall CQ uh, CQ Skywarn uh, CQ 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 SRD from Whiskey X-Ray 1 uh, Alpha Kilo Quebec Whiskey X-Ray 1 Alpha Kilo Quebec so even though I wasn't able to uh, make an activation with the uh, FX4CR, I totally forgot that I had my 891 with me. So let's try to scrape together what we have left and see if we can get an activation in here. Park to park, park to park. You're welcome. You have a great day. All right, so park to park, park to park only. November 1, Japan, United Radio, park to park. Okay, I have the kilo, 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 kilo. I have you at 5-9 as well. Okay, 7-3. Papa, park to park, park to park. Uh, park to park? Uh, this is November 1, a Juliet United Radio, park to park. November 1, was it Zulu something? 
November 1, Japan, Uniform Romeo, Juliet United Radio, QSL. QSL, November 1, Juliet United Radio. I have you 5-5 five, five here into Kilo 1518. Roger, roger, the 5.5 five into 1518. Got you about a 5.7 five, here, 5.7 five, into 2678. QSL. QSL, the 2678 in New Hampshire. Thanks for hunting and activating today. You as well. Thanks for the park to park. Good luck with your activation, 73. You bet, 73. Alpha Echo 8 Sierra Papa, QRZ. QSL, I got you 5.9 down here in Alabama. Roger. Roger, roger. Thank you so much for being out there. 73. 73, thank you for the contact. These guys are just pouncing all these people. It's great. This is poor etiquette. Give a second to let them call QRZ and then make the move. Come on, people. <laughs> is the frequency in use? Is the frequency in use? This is N1JUR. It's getting really tough to find a spot on 20 meters these days. All right, I have to call it because it's getting too damn cold and this is uh, not faring well for me. And it's getting dark and the wife's got to go home soon. So let's pack it up. All right, so we're gonna wrap this up. Uh, I didn't really get a chance to activate the park because I made a big snafu and left the actual uh, FX4 CR microphone uh, back at the shack. I don't actually get a chance to make uh, a couple of contacts, although it would have been fun. Um, but with this exercise, you get an idea. Uh, I've got a great start here for a setup for my beach bag. There are definitely some things that I've noted that I need to include in the kit to be able to manage multiple scenarios like uh, how do I deal with proper uh, mounting of the mast how do I uh, configure this so I can easily get an antenna up uh, and get a, a you know signal out and more so just you know understanding the FX4CR more because that is paramount in my mind if you don't understand your rig well and all the functionality in the the radio uh, and how to be able to navigate it you're kind of, you know, uh, like a fish out of water. So um, it's sort of like when you go to the beach, you know, you wanna make sure you bring the suntan lotion because you don't wanna get it burned. So with that, uh, thanks uh, again for watching. Make sure you definitely like, subscribe, uh, and share this. And uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments. You know, what would you wanna add to this bag? What would help bring more stuff to the beach outside of all of the other things you'd normally bring <laughs> when you go to the beach? You know, leave them in the comments below. Let me know. And thanks for watching.